Previously on Hormones and Honeys. Fanny! Are you kidding me? I'm gonna kill you! Make yourselves comfortable. We have some big news to discuss. Stevie cheated on me. Shh. With Fanny. Oh yeah, I did that. But in my defense, we only kissed. What would you bring this up in front of everybody, love? Why are you hooking up with my boyfriend, you monkey goblin? I cannot do this right now. <laughs> I can't believe this hag decided to bring our business in front of everyone. If you're insecure, just say so, love. Definitely not okay. That two-faced nugget just embarrassed me in front of everyone. I'm so sorry. Nini wants to be the center of attention all the time. It's kind of getting out of hand. You're right. I shouldn't have let a desperate slag get in my way. <laughs> You're such a victim. I can't believe Nini exposed all your lies and deceptions like that. We're so sorry for you. Nini just ruined his life like it was nothing. She was being so selfish. I don't know why Stevie's crying. He's clearly the one at fault. I mean, he literally cheated on me with my best friend. Nini, baby girl, girl queen, shining star. Are you okay? How are you really? I know Fanny, she can just be such a control freak right now. She's so insensitive. Yeah, I'm just sad that my bestie would turn on me like that. You're so right. This must be so hard for you. What if I go talk to Fanny and see if we can figure this out? So I just talked to Nini, and it turns out she's such a fraud. She's so dramatic. Fanny, I was thinking, what if you apologize right now, and then we can make a plan to take her down later? Love, I'm deeply, truly sorry for my actions earlier. You know cheating and such, love. It was just my hormonal tendencies that took over. It wasn't me. I promise I would never do that to you, love. It didn't mean anything. We love you. To celebrate our friendship and new beginnings, let's have a dinner party tomorrow night. Rock on, you sexy piece of meat. <sighs> the next day. It's the big day, and I've come over to Brutus's house to get ready. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby, baby. All right, I want you to start in the kitchen, and I'll be in the main room. All right. While I was organizing the cheese platter, Brutus got a message from his tutor. What kind of tutor says that? We were all having a grand old time enjoying ourselves. Meanwhile, Annie Ann looks like she's going to poop herself. Literally. Guys, I need to go to the little lady room and freshen up. Whoever he's texting is not his tutor. You! <laughs> Who is this? I don't know! Not anyone at this table! What is wrong with you? What if I just call it? Right now! No! Dance for me, dance for me. 
me kiss for me oh, oh. Mm, whose phone was that? You dirtbag! How dare you steal my boyfriend? You useless idiot! Oh no, you didn't! Guess what, Fanny and Nini, your so-called best friend was lying to both of your faces yesterday. So I just talked to Nini? It turns out she's such a fraud. She's so dramatic. Fanny, I was thinking, what if you apologize right now and then we can make a plan to take her down later? You wanted to take me down? And what about it, love? <laughs> this is Valentino. How dare you? How dare I what? It's fake, just like your ugly accent, you snaggle tooth chav. No, stop filming. No, stop. Where do you think you're going? Where is she? There you are! Next time on Hormones and Honeys. Nene left the gold button ring to me. It's in the whale law. You literally killed her! I want the belly button ring. <laughs>